guys. Um, so I guess this vlog is on my trip to Aubrey. So what better way to start than a montage of getting there? I don't know, like whenever I watch something like that, I fully feel like I just travelled. <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, so now I'm back with my dirty mirror. Hey. Um, but yeah, nah, it was an amazing time. I saw Susie and Josh. We got to go on a few adventures. Um, we got to see the Watoto Kids Choir. And so pretty much these kids are orphans. Their parents passed away, obviously. Um, and they live in houses, like, it's like a little community of like these eight or nine houses in a little circle um, with one head house and in each house has one like mum and eight brothers and sisters. So the houses are crazy but the kids are absolutely adorable and gorgeous. And so in this little community of eight houses full of kids, they pretty much have this village and there's school, there's university, all this kind of stuff. Anyway, these kids come around Australia to like... Um, advertise for it is what you call it. Anyway, they provide awareness of it and there's kids all, all over the world. And so we are lucky enough to have one family, well not really family, like some kids stay with us while I was with Susie and Josh. Um, and so that was pretty cool. And yeah, so it was really cool getting to know them and seeing how they live and what they're like and their schedule and their routine. Like it's absolutely psycho. I wouldn't be able to do it, so I'd really take my hat off to them and the adults who do. And so I pretty much figured that I'd like share some videos and photos that I took of the kids for you guys. Um, they're pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, here's the Toto Choir from Sarah's magnificent photographer of like three photos and a video. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry about the noises, it's me playing with my highlighter. Um, pretty much what else is there? Um, we went and we saw the Wii, the Aubrey Wii, um, or as it's more likely known as a dam. It was pretty cool. Susie loves dams and so that's why we went. Um, but the scenery was absolutely breathtaking. I was blown away at how gorgeous it was. And yeah, it was really cool. Just really nice and relaxed. And so I guess while I'm here, I may as well show you the dam and the weir and all those kind of cool photos that I took. So enjoy them. So pretty much, could I see myself living in Aubrey? Possibly. Actually, possibly one day. Maybe not Aubrey, but a country town. Like, I'd love to experience actually living there. Because that's my, one of my favourite things about Australia, is that we have all these random country towns where it's like, there's true mateship and the true sense of Aussie spirit. And so, that's pretty cool. 
And so it was a really cool experiencing that. And so one day, you never know, I might just move out to the country. Um, but no, nah, I think I'll travel a lot. I honestly think I'll travel a lot. This has kind of really sparked a journey of going off and exploring and discovering and having adventures and random little things. So it's pretty cool. And so I started back at uni this week. Yay! It's all a little bit psycho, a little bit crazy, but it is what it is. And you've got to just, just got to keep on keeping on. And, yeah, just making it happen. And so what better way to finish than the way you started. So here's my trip of coming back from Albury. <laughs> Oh, and to close as I always do. No, I don't. The last video didn't actually include it because my laptop's stuffed up. Um, but anyway, friend, you know who you are. That's officially like four to one, five to one, something like that. Anyway, it's your turn. There's no more, oh, it's my turn, whatever. Your birthday is coming up, so hello, you can vlog about that. Um, but keep being hipster and yeah. <laughs>